Okay, so you probably want to remind me we're looking at this nice pretty pot. So anyway, um, this is a meal I make for Bonnie and I quite often, um, especially usually on a Monday because we both work. So this is real easy for me. Anyway, this is a bacon cheeseburger macaroni and cheese. Um, it has uh, three different cheese, bacon. So what I already did is we, uh, this is a pound of 80-20. Uh, nope, I apologize, 80-15 with a little bit of onion cooked down. So I'm gonna show you how to put all of this together real easy. Stick around. All right, we show the hamburger and the onions cooked up. So what we have some fried up, real thick up bacon, a bowl. That is cheddar, that is smoked Gouda, and a little bit of the American cheese melt. Um, this is our local brand, but you can get Velveeta, whatever you choose to. Gonna need a big ball and the pasta, and then I'll show you how to put it all together. Um, normally, I put Doritos over the top of this and then bake it, but I've learned one thing over doing that. If you put the Doritos over before you bake it, the burritos burn. So, what we're gonna do is kind of omit the Doritos, but if you're going to, um, then you do want the Dorito crushed on top of this. About five minutes before you pull it out, you have them crush them up, just throw them over the top, put them back in. Five minutes. Anything longer than that, gang, is going to burn. All right. This is real, real easy. As you see, we have our hamburger and our onions already cooked up. This is the kind of pasta we use. A little bit in there. And mix this up. Add a little bit of the Gouda. Add a little bit of this. Mix it up. A little bit of the Sharp. And I mean, basically, what you're going to do is just layer this. Take a little bit of our bacon. Bake it up in through. And again, it's kind of the easiest part of this. So we put more of our pasta, or I should say the rest of our pasta, the rest of our cheese. This cheese, which is the sharp, rest of our bacon crumbled up, and mix it together. We're going to add about a half a cup of milk to this, basically. And this is our trick. Salsa. Yep, salsa. One, two big heaping teaspoons. So what we're going to do now, gang, we're gonna switch this off. Put our milk in, throw it in our oven. We'll put our milk in, and then we'll transfer it to our baking dish. Put it in the oven, and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. All right, so, ball, oven safe. Sorry about me. And... So what we're going to do is put this on a baking sheet, cover it with a piece of aluminum foil, and I will show you what it looks like. As a matter of fact, I'll probably put the Doritos on top of this. We use Cool Ranch. You can use whatever flavor you'd like, so this way you get the idea. Alright, see you in a bit. 
All right, as you can see, it's getting hot. So what we're going to do now is take a small bag of Doritos and crush them up, put it over the top, put it back in, give it about another five minutes, pull it out, let it rest, and I'll show you how we serve it. Okay, covered in Doritos, back in the oven. All right, so we are hot. That's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven in about five minutes. We serve it with a nice salad. Again, top it with any Doritos. We use the, I was going to use the ranch, but I decided to use these instead. So there you go. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, leave a comment. New here, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, gang.